friends welcome back to my channel or if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by today i'm going to be organizing my pantry for the second time this year and hopefully this is the last time for a while so let's get right into it because there's a lot that needs to get done no anxiety but i by the looks of this pantry, I bet you would have never guessed that it had been organized before. There's just no order and there are things that are out of place on the floor that need to get thrown out. So I knew for a fact that this needed to get done as soon as possible. But I do what I like if you watched my previous pantry organization video, you would have seen that I had done it on a budget. So I just used bins that I had around the house and I did not really purchase anything new. But this time there are just way too many items in my pantry that I needed a better system. So I went ahead and purchased some containers off of Amazon and I also purchased a spice rack as well as a organizer for my can. So I'm hoping that this will help me to have a better system that will hopefully keep my pantry organized a lot longer and that way I'm not having to do such big, uh, spending so much time I guess uh, organizing my pantry. Now, I do want to say that the first time that I did my organizing of my pantry, I took everything out, which is awesome if you have the space, first of all, and if you have the time. But at that time, I was pregnant with my newborn, current newborn, and I have my toddler, but I had a little bit more time to play around with how I wanted to organize the first time. But this time, with such a small kitchen and small space, there was no way I could take everything out and I, I didn't want to feel overwhelmed so I did this by sections I started off by taking out everything that was going to go into containers first and then I went ahead and started with something simple which was this this uh, spice rack and I was just trying to do simple things that I knew if I needed to stop to feed my baby or if I needed to stop for whatever reason and I could not continue then I could leave it as is and there wasn't a huge mess I and as you can tell I was having a lot of trouble trying to organize it the way that I wanted I kept moving things left and right until finally I was able to settle on how I wanted the spices to go notice that since I did not have too many spices on that rack up top I needed something in the back that would not let them uh, slide back and forth so I just put in some parchment paper uh, the little box that kept them from sliding back and forth and that seemed to work out just fine Let me know if you also like to keep your grocery bags. I like to keep them to put them in our bathroom trash can. I just don't have another space for them, so I don't know what would be a better way to store them. If you have a better way, I'd love for you to let me know down in the comments. I'd like to keep them instead of just throwing them away, but if I do not find a better system, it's probably best that I just get rid of them. I was a little worried that this organizer was not going to be sturdy enough, but after putting all of the cans, it actually did seem to hold up. So I am very happy with this purchase. I wanted to quickly introduce myself to those of you that are new here. My name is Ashley and I'm a mom to five girls. And you're probably thinking, Ashley, but you look so young. How are you a mom to five girls? <laughs> All joking aside though, I do have three stepdaughters that I love very dearly, so they are like my daughters to me. So if you hear me anytime in my, during my videos, on any of my videos, that I mention I have five daughters, that is why. But currently at home, I do have a newborn and a 19 month old. My newborn is currently two months old, so it has been a little bit difficult with two under two currently, but I'm just trying to enjoy this season as much as possible. Glad 
since I had organized my pantry so there wasn't really too much that needed to get thrown out. I did have a couple of stovetop boxes or a few there that you see as well as some cornbread. I also had some like goldfish and a few things in this candy bin that needed to get thrown out. But today I was mostly focusing on reorganizing everything and trying to find a better system. <music> that I was most excited about. I wanted to get rid of all of the packages that you see there, have everything in containers and then have everything labeled. So I did purchase a label maker which worked really really well. I wanted to have everything aesthetically pleasing as well as practical. say that this is what took the most time so if you're thinking about switching over to containers I would recommend to make sure that you have a time set aside to do this I did work in sections as I mentioned earlier so I made sure that my both daughters were napping while doing this and it worked out well you but I find it very satisfying to label everything and now that I have this label maker I feel like I'm going to make any excuse just to make a label uh, my husband is actually worried that I'm going to be going around the house and labeling everything you all what time of day you all are mostly on YouTube is it morning is it afternoon or in the evening after the kids have gone to bed I'm trying to figure out what time of day is best to post my videos so that you all do not miss them so let me know down in the comments below what time you would want me to post my videos
Say something meaningful Say something I don't know I wanna know you better The way that you talk to me The way that you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight you make me feel fine Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know Till my lungs give out your beautiful finished organizing everything into those containers I wanted to make sure that I picked up all the trash before moving on to anything else like I mentioned earlier I'm really trying to not get as overwhelmed as I did the first time of course I did feel a little overwhelmed seeing the table full like this but once I took off all of the trash off the table and cleared it a little bit more it did help to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and see what else needed to get organized and thrown out now that all the containers have been filled, I'm just going to work on emptying out the section of the pantry where I'm going to go ahead and place these containers in. That way it's easier for me to see how I want to organize them. And before bringing them back into the pantry, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick wipe down with Mrs. Meyer's peony scent. You'll see that I do move these containers around a lot until I finally find a way that I want them to go. Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night, all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful baking bin I did want to go ahead and keep all of this together so I just went ahead and moved everything to a new bin so that I can organize it better with there being more space and as you can tell, I'm wearing a completely different outfit. Life happened and I had to stop working on the pantry the day before. So I just continued where I left off. I did find this little pail at Hobby Lobby to put all of these little flavor packets in. That way I can have them all in one spot rather than having all of the boxes just thrown in the pantry. I didn't need to make any changes on the tray that had my tea infusers and all of my tea boxes so I went ahead and moved on to organizing the food containers. 
I don't know about you, but I can't ever seem to keep these containers organized. I'm either missing a lid or missing the container and we end up having to throw them out. We did recently purchase those glass containers that you see there, but since we do a lot of leftovers, those glass containers were just not big enough, so we ended up staying with the plastic ones as well. Right now I feel the love that we said we would burn Oh, I know that you feel it too I know that I told you we're over I swear If you looked closely at the beginning of the video when I was showing you how my pantry looked before, at the very top I had a bunch of party supplies like this cutlery, um, I had some cups and a few things that you see here me, me putting into this bin. Um, but I wanted to find a way to keep them all together, so I went ahead and used this wired bin to keep everything together. We purchased this huge box of plastic forks, and every time we needed to get one, I had to be bending down and getting some from that box. So I decided to just put some in this cup, leave it there in the spice rack organizer so it's much easier to get out if we need some. And then the rest of them I just put into a plastic bag and then hid them behind that cup. The bin you see on the floor to the right has our chips, so I didn't need to pull any of that out. I had already looked through that a few days ago. But I did find this bamboo board in the back of the pantry that I had no idea I had and I was very excited to see it because I do want to do more charcuterie boards. I know that that's been a trending thing and I definitely want to give it a try. I know that I've tried a few in the past, but I want to do some at home for my family. And if you watched my first pantry organization video, then you will have seen that I actually recycled this box that had sweet potato crackers in it and used it to put in my cleaning cloths and then had them stored to the right, I'm sorry, the left side of the pantry. But it just was not working. Everything was kind of falling to the side and falling on the floor. So I ended up using this bin and it worked out much better. Forever. And of course, I needed to label it because you can't tell that they're cleaning cloths, right? <laughs> I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much? I found that popcorn maker at an antique shop, and I'm actually very excited to try it. We've had it for a while, and I just have not gone around to using it. So let me know down in the comments if you've used one, so you can tell me how in the world it works. <laughs> That is it friends, now for the final reveal. I am very, very pleased with how it turned out. I did like the way I organized it the first time, but this time I know for a fact that it's gonna last so much longer, organized the way that it is, and I'm very excited to get to using all of these things that you see here in the containers. I know where to find them now. I don't have to be digging to the back of the pantry or making a mess in a bin with everything spilling out of them. Let me know what your favorite part of this video was. Mine was definitely putting everything into containers, labeling them, and then organizing them the way that I wanted. If you were interested in any of the things that you saw in this video, I'll try to link as many things as I can down below. And if you enjoy watching videos like this, I'd love to have you join my YouTube family. I do post every Monday and Friday. 
So I would really appreciate it if you were to like this video and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to show you all the other things that I'm organizing around my home. I will see you in my next video. Bye. You know that I would cause I'm just loving this moment. Can't always stay here forever. Forever.